So uh, these challenge statements uh, capture the, the challenges faced by the built environment firms, uh, even after they have successes in digitizing uh, their uh, construction processes. They are seeking for common data environment system to help them uh, with the various uh, uh, processes uh, that is re related to construction. For this, uh, the challenge statement owners is uh, Penta Ocean and SK ENC. Uh, we would like to first invite uh, Eugene Chan uh, from the, the BIM team from Penta Ocean to share uh, regarding this challenge statement. Uh, thanks, uh, Zipeng. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm uh, Eugene Chan from Penta Ocean Construction. So actually today our challenge statement we are proposing is that how might we create a common data environment system that can more comprehensively support the management of construction projects on a whole. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, so um, basically what we are looking for is that currently in the market, right, um, there are many different multiple uh, digital platforms that are used to support uh, the project management of a construction project. However, um, none of these existing uh, digital platforms are able to comprehensively provide all the features uh, required by the construction companies and their scope of works. And uh, I think the main problem is that a lot of these platforms are not actually fully compatible with each other. So uh, when transferring data from one uh, platform to the other, there's even there's things like data loss and there's a lot of uh, saving of data resulting in data silos. So uh, actually this um, challenge statement started from the summary and weekly uh, summary and progress reports that we had to generate as the main contractors for the clients every uh, on a weekly basis. Um, yeah, but I'll go more into in depth into the next uh, into that for the next few slides. So um, yeah, I've split it into five uh, main key features. Uh, so firstly, we have the document management, which deals more with uh, documents. And then secondly, we have site management, safety, project management, and of course, general features and administrative things. Uh, I will talk more about it in the next few slides. Yeah. Okay. So for document management, right, we have uh, we require easy access, which means we are looking for things like uh, web access, mobile application, as well as cloud-based uh, platforms. Uh, another thing to consider will also be uh, for access offline, uh, where the construction site has low internet connectivity. So for example, it could, you could access it offline at a site without internet, but at the same time, when you reach back to office or something per se, you could sync and then all the data would be uh, resynced to the cloud. Um, secondly, for the su online submission of replies and shop drawings, RFIs, SOIs, and site memos. So all this, we hope that uh, there could be some automatic flagging or reminder um, function for the relevant parties when there's a, a due date or deadline coming. Um, yeah, so for the next part, for site management, right? Uh, sorry, could we go back? Yeah. So for site management, we will have uh, inspection requests and checklists. So all this is also expected to be online paperless and uh, approval via, via e-signatures. Um, also, we require the creation of the defects punch list. So this defects punch list will also uh, have to have automatic notifications and dissemination to the relevant parties, as well as the tracking of the ratification progress. Um, for the BIM models, right, we hope that uh, the viewing and commenting of these BIM models can be done without an authoring software or license. And for the progress summary reports, uh, we need to generate these reports uh, on a weekly basis. So. Traditionally, what is done currently is that there's a lot of abortive work where uh, there are many different parties, like, uh, for example, manpower, all this we have to report to the various clients. And it's done in a very uh, old school way of where we have to go and uh, coordinate with each party. So we hope that um, we envision that one day uh, someone could come up with this platform where, for example, things like, especially now in the era of COVID, we have things like manpower where uh, each foreman could simply just input this manpower, uh, how many people on site, for example, into the system, and this would automatically reflect in the cloud. Yeah, uh, next slide, please. 
So for safety management, uh, one of the key things is permit to work. So this we also require uh, online submission, paperless, as well as uh, approval via e-signatures. Um, for the safety events as well, we also require online documentation and tracking of the corrective actions as well. For project management, um, I think as the main con, we like to track the activities and progress of the subcontractors. Um, their delays as well as their proposed manpower plan to catch up with the master timeline. For progress payments, um, yep, so we have to track, thing, uh, track progress things like uh, payment claims, cash flow, and project S curve. So all this is also linked back to our summary and uh, progress reports where the project S curve has to be updated on a weekly basis as well. Um, so some yeah some basic things and meeting support would include uh, meeting agenda, meeting minutes, and of course all these have to be automatically disseminated to the relevant parties. Um, finally, for email in integration, um, yes, uh, this platform should be seamlessly integrated with the mail service providers. So for example, we uh, Penta Ocean are using the Google G Suite. Um, Yep. Also for cloud applications, so things like uh, calendars as well as our cloud storage, uh, things of data, documents, and models. And finally, of course, we the platform would definitely need to have smart notifications, uh, automatic reminders, as well as status updates. Uh, next slide, please. Sorry, next. Yeah. Okay, so I think to summarize, we are actually just looking for a more comprehensive uh, common data environment um, that sort of better supports the stakeholders and enables them to be more uh, efficient, effective, um, basically make everyone's life uh, easier lah, in some sense. And we are also open to having uh, multiple platforms, but uh, of course, these various platforms must be designed to be fully compatible with each other. And uh, of course, there's no data loss. Okay, yeah, I think that's all from my side. Thank you. All right. Uh, so I would like to invite Benjamin from SKNC to just share more about their perspective of what uh, they're looking for for this challenge statement. Hey, everyone. My name is uh, Benjamin. Basically, uh, we share the same, uh, we, we, we share the same uh, challenge statement with uh, Penta Ocean. But we'd like to highlight a certain thing that uh, in particular to what we are looking for. Basically, uh, in terms of site management, right, we hope that the, the CDE can actually generate us a main program and, in, and a sub-program as well, whether it's a localized uh, construction works or sub-trade to the sub, uh, specialty subcontractor. And then uh, another thing that we want to emphasize on is uh, we hope that we can, uh, this, 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 uh, this, solution can provide some uh, pre pre and monthly, weekly, or even daily works for all levels of uh, working personnel. Uh, this is basically for clarity and also uh, some prepare uh, to create preparedness for our works execution. Uh, as for site management, uh, you also hope that uh, we want to mention that this uh, solution should be a uh, beam, beam, uh, beam will be the center focus for this uh, CDE. And uh, therefore, this uh, will allow us to have a micro level reporting to be done in real time by the site staff. The data will be provided by site staff on, for all levels, and the BIM model will be updated in the actual in the actual progress. Then, uh, in the secondly, regarding safety, right? Uh, uh, we hope that the permits, safety permits, and also safety event management features will be linked to the model as well. And uh, this is also for clarity and convenience. So it is a, it's a, it's, this, this, uh, this solution will provide a, basically a one-stop solution for, for all site management, project management issues. And of course, uh, being, being a BIM, I'd like to touch on one more additional point. If let's say the BIM model, if, if we can, the, the BIM model can be updated in such a way to the detail whereby it can also be used for progress claims and tracking variation orders as well. So that from, uh, from the, the, the actual, construction drawing, contract drawing, and as from the SBO, we can actually use it for tracking variation. And also for the, since we have data for all the site progress, right? Perhaps this, this uh, model can also be used to, to help us uh, facilitate our progress payment as well. And uh, okay, the next slide. Basically the next slide is just to show that uh, what are the uh, things that we want to highlight in the challenge statement that uh, in particular to uh, my company's uh, requirement. 
And uh, yeah, that's all. Thanks. Yep. Thank you so much, Benjamin. Uh, with that, we'd like to jump into the questions. Uh, so uh, John Lim asked, uh, among the five categories that was mentioned under additional details, right? Uh, all these features already uh, ready and uh, all these processes are digitized. If not, what are the ones that are lacking still? Uh, I will just uh, let uh, Eugene from Penta Ocean to uh, answer first. Yeah, so, uh, okay, I think for document management and site management, um, all these are somewhat digitized already. I think most of them uh, are digitized to some extent. However, uh, I think most of the, the key point here is that they are not, uh, we use different programs for each sort of pillar in some sense. Uh, so it's a bit troublesome sometimes because we have to get data from one and then, and then a lot of times these are sort of interlinked. Like uh, for example, like uh, permit to work is, is actually linked to maybe safety management and so on and so forth. So uh, yeah, I think the, the challenge here would be trying to integrate everything. Does that uh, answer, sort of answer the question? Yep, yep. Uh, Benjamin, do you have anything to chip in? Yeah, so basically we understand that there are many uh, uh, many softwares around and uh, even, even when we're talking about the, the mod modeling software, right? So if let's say if there's one single platform that can put all these softwares together to digitalize the, the whole uh, construction progress, right? That will be good. Like, that's what we are looking at. So it's a single platform to integrate everything. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Okay. okay. Yep. Uh, could you share a bit more about, uh, I mean, the solutions that you have explored? Uh, yeah. So uh, whether you have like uh, tried the leading platforms such as Procure from US. Uh, yep. Uh, Eugene, will you be able to answer that? Uh, sorry, I didn't quite get what was the name of the platform. Uh, you... Procure. Procure. Uh, yeah. No, I don't think we have tried that. But uh, yeah, to answer your question, I think we have tried things like uh, BIM 360 where, yes, of course, the viewing and commenting of models is easy. But uh, all this is, uh, the problem that we faced was that it, it didn't quite link to other things. So, for example, like BIM 360, you need a license for each person. And then this was uh, quite difficult to transport to site where on site is it's really hard to access. Maybe you, you, could, you could only do it in the site office and so on and so forth. But uh, what we are sort of envisioning is like, um, for example, the foreman could really hold an iPad and then just show the, the workers how is it supposed to actually look like and stuff like that. So all this from a coordination point of view, it would be a lot easier. Uh, even for things like permit to work, um, he could send it e, in an e-submission and then uh, probably the, the RTO or someone else could quickly approve it within 10 minutes and then he doesn't need to uh, really use a piece of paper and sign it off, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so uh, there, there's a question from Michelle. Uh, are there current systems that are being used and expected to be integrated? Uh, yep, uh, I will channel this uh, question to Eugene first whether there's existing platform that you definitely want to keep? Um, existing platforms currently, I think for, it's mostly BIM 360 and um, some other smaller things. Like, of course, things like Gmail or this, it's, um, yeah, it's definitely, we, we will want to keep, uh, hence we, we, we uh, highlighted it in the general portion. Um, okay. Can we say that uh, Penta Ocean is still very uh, open-minded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think as of now, it's still uh, we are still very, very open-minded and open to a lot of solutions that whoever can propose. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Benjamin, do you have anything to uh, share with us to um, your existing system? We, we do have our existing system, but however, we are also open and then uh, we can integrate any platform uh, the solution provider has their own uh, preference. We have no issue at all. Okay. Yep. Uh, just the last question, just uh, share with us uh, what, uh, because uh, innovators have been giving a feedback that this project brief is very broad. Uh, if you were to have a priority, 
uh, two or three things, what would be more important for you? Uh, I'll start with Eugene first. Uh, I think for us, definitely it uh, would be the document management, site management and safety management. I think these are really uh, very much linked to site. Um, and definitely if we can come up with a solution, this would really uh, accelerate things, uh, even reduce work, uh, construction time. And so all this have a, a real uh, quick impact to the actual uh, tangible impact to the project. So I think these are the more important ones to us. Like um, the not so important ones are probably like the general and project management, because all this, uh, yes, is still uh, um, very arbitrary, uh, very old school. But um, we we can still do deal with it at the current uh, with our current uh, procedures. Okay, thank you, uh, Benjamin. Hi. Uh, two items maybe we want to mention uh, that we want to highlight is actually planning and program. Therefore, we have the 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 this this uh this this solution can provide us a uh, uh, advanced information and uh ahead of the advanced works that we we need to plan, like I say from uh, uh monthly, weekly, and even daily, so that our members of all levels will be very clear on what to work on, and then uh, secondly, we will have to look into uh in short, it will be a paperless and a uh, avoid paperless physical meeting for approval and also for uh, even uh, documentation as well. So it will be convenient and will be work on a, a, a portable gadget for all staff, whereby you don't have to log on to any uh, desktop or laptop. There will be a good, uh, there will be a good, uh, I would say a dashboard, whereby uh, it will be all in within a dashboard. That's, that's what we are looking at, thanks. Thank you so much, Eugene and Benjamin. Uh, with that, uh, yeah, thank you for your time. Uh, you can turn off your video and mic now. We'd like to proceed to the next challenge statement.